CS2, I used to call Stown the best opera in Denmark while you were on break. Okay, but now it's CS2, so Stown, who's the best opera in Denmark? It's a new chance for you. <laughs> it is David. It is David for sure. Okay. Yeah. Stop. Okay, guys, every roster went through so much in the last couple of months. First, I want to start with just how, how was the break? I mean, we went on vacation right after Bed Boom. We had the, a decent vacation, a pretty long one. Started up the 2nd of January and, and kind of ever since I've just like been together for some sort of a boot camp. We played Copenhagen Game a Week and, and also the major qualification. So let's skip to the good stuff a little bit. In the last year with Blame F Calling, so what kind of style are you guys aiming to get towards? And have you made any changes that are fundamentally different in the past sort of few weeks of boot camp? I think that like me and Yabi also has like a lot of ideas coming into here. And I think we're like trying to find like a way together, you know, like of how we want to approach things. So I think we are still in the process of, of doing that. I think his style is a lot of it is is set, but not like in, a, in in like a bad way, I would say. But like we have a lot of good protocols, I would say, which I think will help us in like bigger games, you know, uh, stuff like that. But overall, like I think uh, it's, it's going good. I'll say you were uncomfortable probably at Bat Boom. I think like individually, we're finding your form, but it was brand new for you that roster. So like, what what happened there? Why were you uncomfortable? Because now you're more comfortable. Things are working a little bit better. Yeah, I mean it's going a little better now. I think. I think that tournament in general wasn't like the best for us because I think our preparation coming up to it was was not the best. We only had like three, four days of practice and then we had like four days of like not playing CS at all and then directly going to the tournament and we couldn't really practice from, from Dubai, you know. So I think, yeah, we had like almost a week of not playing together before that tournament. And, and Device, there's a lot of voices on the team like uh, Stan just said, him and Yabi speak a lot about the team, blame us the IGL. You obviously give a lot of input and insight. So what's your angle been like for working on building this new roster with Blame and two new players? Naturally, I've taken maybe a little step back on, on some aspects of the game. Uh, I think I also I'm a little bit more calm doing that now mm. uh, with the quality we've, we've gotten. It feels natural. I also do think CS2 plays a little bit differently with the orbing style. I think everyone kind of needs to figure out how to be as impactful as they were before and not just go with the rifle, which is kind of exciting sometimes to just think like, yeah, stop. I'm just really happy to be uh, a part of the team together with the two new guys. I think they have like a lot of potential and a lot of quality coming from their like philosophy of CS and we're trying to make it all come together and make everyone feel as they are 20% of the team. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important to achieve. I think if I can be frank, you know, like you said, with quality with these two players coming in, it's a, such a huge upgrade. I know that role-wise, it's not perfect for Stan and Jabby to come in. And also just like two guys who have just been out in the wild on Heroic playing a completely different way. Has it been overblown the way people have talked about the roles with, the, with, with Stan and Jabby coming into the team? I think they've changed a lot, but I think what goes like unsaid is like Stair, who has transitioned into a completely different role. Yeah, yeah. And I think he's just killing it. Like he has been a part of why I think uh, Stown and Yabi both have like some of the same roles and they can like have some sense of security in how they play because he's changed everything. Mm -hmm. So a uh, big credit to him. I think he's doing amazingly. And, and as you said, of course, it's both new roles, but it's also how you play those roles. I think like, yeah, playing, uh, let's just say Thor on Nuke can be played 20 different ways. So it's also about fitting into the entire structure and not just holding that position. So I think it's, as I said, a little bit like the philosophies coming together and understanding how you move as a unit around the map that makes or breaks how your role is played and how good it's played. And I think that's just something that naturally takes time. You have seen it with the Heroic roster. It took a lot of time for them. It took a lot of time for me, Dupree and Sip way back, like making and understanding that CS in the same way it takes maybe a year or so. So yeah, it's just a, a work in progress, but it's also a really exciting work in progress because we have so much quality. Do you wish there was a, a year extra of CSGO to see where this roster could have gotten to before also having to transition into the game? Actually, I think it's pretty good with a new game. I think everyone knows that uh, 
the game is not perfect. I think it's the most perfect iteration of an early Counter Strike yeah. we've had. So I'm I'm hopeful, uh, and and there's a lot of easy improvements, so to say, for the game. But honestly, it's the same for all teams, right? They also have to figure out the new game. So I don't think too much about that. Uh, I think everyone can have the same impact in in, in CS2 in different ways. So <laughs> not not something I've thought about, but but yeah, sure, maybe. But uh, I'm also pretty confident in our ability to also make CS2 our own. Stan, you talked about at that boom that it was also the fact that it was CS2, it was a game you didn't have much time in. What, for me, like watching a lot of demos, I it's been kind of surprising how much, well, I don't know if I'm surprised about it, but people are still playing CS2 a lot like CSGO. It's kind of cool that things like breaking open smokes is so natural. It feels like it's always been in the game. It's really fun to play around. Yeah, I, th I think like, like you say as well, like overall, it is still CS, you know, like the it's still like the same game, kinda. I think just like the mechanics, the movements, and stuff like that is the, the things that feel weird still, kinda, you know. Yeah, it's just OP to, to swing, you know. So I think like the more and more like I play the game, I think it, it feels natural. I feel, feel like the game is much better now than it was like two months ago, for example. So in CS2, a lot of the low fragging IGLs have gotten a boost, you know? They've just, they seem to be so comfortable. Is it the fact that they're simply playing more aggressively? It's like, a, you know, JT at Apex or like as an aggressive opening entry fragger that's just favoring them in the game? The idea is true. I think some of the things you say are in around like how aggressively in-game leaders play on the T side and swing for duels and usually before it would be more an informa information play. Mm -hmm. Whereas of now, I think like it is really good to swing. I've been sitting on a server uh, on, on Ticket, on Mirage and holding the guy that swings slow just to train that. And it is almost impossible to like kill a guy that's good, has, has good pre-aim because it, I don't know why, but they have more time. You see it a lot on the Aubers that also changed like playing off angles as Aub is not something you did that much before. You would play top of ticket now and stuff like that. So I think if you swing and have good pre-aim, you hit a headshot and it's just a little bit easier. I think it's also something you see on the headshot percentage of, of JT and even Kerrigan as well. I think also has gotten a boost. I, mm. I think like it's just, it, it's just a good thing to do. And I think it's also so fundamental to be playing like the jiggling and stuff as CT and holding angles that you can still punish a lot of guys doing that. If you are spotted holding an angle, you can't just hold that angle. Yeah, like yeah. you have to do something you else. You know you're dying, so. Yeah, and it's 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 a it's a thing you that's really prevalent in the game right now and you don't know if it's supposed to be that way. So we just have to play around it. I, I was mad about it at first and then I, I realized it actually made me improve like timing my swings and so I got better at that and I actually kind of enjoy it now in a way that uh, I didn't before, but I'm also not getting paid to play. So do you feel like if you could push a button, you would change it back to the way CSGO was? For me, I think it's pretty exciting. I think the only not exciting thing about it is not knowing whether it's this way it's gonna be forever or it's how it's supposed to be. Right, right. Uh, I think if, if there was like some sort of communication that way, I think it would be easier like to, to, to deal with. I don't necessarily say it makes me mad. It's just a part of the game where you can actually also uh, theory craft on the AWP. For me, pretty exciting because I've played the game so long. So when something changes, it's just a nice thing. CS2, I used to call Stown the best opera in Denmark while you were on break. Okay, but now it's CS2. So Stown, who's the best opera in Denmark? It's a new chance for you. <laughs> it is David. It is David for sure. Okay. It is. I think. Mm, I think also, uh, like in general, like the I think the biggest advantage is like, like the says is fine. It's like if you know it's, if it's a part of a game, then it's fine. If it should be like that, then it's fine. But like the the worst the worst part about the game is still like the like sometimes the shots don't hit when they are supposed to hit, and I don't know. It's just it's, that's the only bad thing about the game, like uh, the 64 tick. I don't understand why they just couldn't put the. 128 tick, so that's, yeah. that's 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 not good. Honestly, like as I said, the game is so new. I remember playing CSGO when it was new. If you go back and look at that, if you're watching this, not even the same game. It's it's really bad. Yeah. So 
I have a lot of like trust in that it's gonna be better for sure. 